Dred Scott v. Sanford, 1857, was a seminal Supreme Court case that played a significant role in the lead-up to the American Civil War. The case revolved around Dred Scott, an enslaved African-American man who sued for his freedom against his owners, John Sanford, and his family. The decision had far-reaching implications and ignited a fierce national debate over the issue of slavery. Dred Scott was born enslaved in Virginia around 1799 and later sold to John Emerson, a U.S. Army surgeon. As Emerson moved around the country due to his military postings, he took Scott with him to various free states and territories where slavery was prohibited or restricted. This exposed Scott to the concept of freedom and raised questions about his legal status. In 1846, after years of living in free territories, Dred Scott, with the assistance of abolitionist lawyers, filed a lawsuit in the Circuit Court of St. Louis, Missouri. Scott argued that his residence in free territories should make him a free man. The case eventually reached the United States Supreme Court, with John F. A. Sanford, the brother of the original owner, assuming responsibility for Scott's custody. The Supreme Court case of Dred Scott v. Sanford began in 1856 and concluded in 1857 with a landmark ruling that would have profound consequences. Chief Justice Roger B. Taney delivered the court's majority opinion, stating that people of African descent, regardless of their enslaved or free status, were not considered citizens of the United States and therefore had no standing to sue in federal courts. Furthermore, Taney's opinion asserted that the Missouri Compromise of 1820, which had prohibited slavery in certain territories, was unconstitutional. The court held that Congress did not possess the power to ban slavery in federal territories, effectively declaring that slavery could legally exist in all states and territories. This decision shocked many Americans and exacerbated the widening divide between the North and the South. The Dred Scott decision had far-reaching implications for the nation. It invalidated the concept of popular sovereignty, which allowed territories to determine their own stance on slavery, and reinforced the institution of slavery as protected by the Constitution. This ruling also deepened tensions between abolitionists and proponents of slavery, further polarizing the country along regional lines. The aftermath of the Dred Scott decision intensified the political climate in the United States. Northerners, outraged by the court's ruling, saw it as a grave injustice and a blatant pro-slavery stance. The decision bolstered the Republican Party, which emerged as a major anti-slavery force in the years to come. Meanwhile, Southerners celebrated the decision as a victory for preserving their way of life and slavery as a fundamental right. Ultimately, the Dred Scott case is widely regarded as a significant factor leading to the outbreak of the American Civil War. It further divided a nation already grappling with profound regional disparities and escalating tensions over the institution of slavery. The decision of the Supreme Court, although intended to settle the issue, only served as a catalyst for further conflict and ultimately propelled the nation towards a violent struggle that would redefine the future of the United States.